We have uh, latency, IPv4 versus IPv6, understanding the difference um, with uh, Alexander Asimov. So. Uh, good afternoon. I hope the coffee break haven't already started. Uh, so, uh, I'm presenting uh, Curator Labs, uh, and I want to discuss with you issues that could result in different latencies uh, in IPv4 and IPv6. So, let's start. Uh, from early adoption of IPv6, there was also always a race. So, uh, IPv6 was always compared to IPv4, it's clear. And uh, they were compared like younger and elder brother. So IPv6 that is trying to overtake or to reach some value of IPv4. For, uh, and there were um, multiple opportunities to compare. For example, prefixes, uh, autonomous system numbers, uh, uh, traffic values, and of course, latency. And uh, five years ago, I think for the first time, uh, in research made by Google, uh, was a very uh, uh, strange result. They uh, showed that uh, IPv6 only, uh, in so, uh, for, what, uh, uh, for some reason, works faster than IPv4. I was very surprised to see uh, this article, and I've decided that Google, haha, you have a route leak and you don't see it. Uh, it was okay as an explanation because uh, there are thousands of route leaks that are um, on the wild and they are online while, while we are speaking. But uh, two years later, uh, yeah. uh, and two years later, in report uh, that was presented by, uh, by, uh, by uh, Jeff Houston, uh, there was again IPv4 of the V6 proved to be faster than IPv4, and there was a timeline, and uh, of uh, both cases could be explained explained by route leaks, but. Uh, and, uh, I could uh, hardly imagine that Jeff haven't ch uh, checked uh, his results uh, and there was no trace routes. So here we ha uh, I had a problem. So uh, as soon as we keep uh, to imagine IPv6 graph as a subgraph of IPv4, uh, the latency of IPv6 should not be less than the latency in IPv4. And so here we have an unsolvable uh, conflict in logic. There, uh, there is only one explanation. Something very funny is happening with, with IPv6 graph. Uh, first of all, I've decided to make as uh, uh, less zoom as possible. I've collected a lot of uh, atom system paths, retrieved them from RIPE, from route views, from our own reflector. I've retrieved from these paths logic relationships between autonomous systems and compared the density. The density of uh, peerings in IPv6 proved to be a little bit bigger than IPv4. But it uh, could be very simple to explain because uh, it's clear that uh, a lot of autonomous systems that have in IPv4 private peerings could afford to use a route reflect instead of these private peerings. Uh, but of course, we don't see all paths. We are limited to what we retrieve from uh, data sources. But as soon as we are able to uh, retrieve the logical relationships, we are able to uh, re uh, retrieve possible paths. Ignoring uh, the issues with route leaks, there are only five kinds of paths that could occur in internet. And so, uh, there was very simple to retrieve all possible paths. And there was a surprise. The density of possible paths that could occur in IPv4 proved to be bigger than IPv6. So there was not, not, not even an explanation. It, it was a problem. And after that, I've decided to check. Uh, maybe there is some big difference between these graphs. And this proved to be the right way. The uh, difference between IPv6 and IPv4 graph is about 50%. So the previous measurements that were comparing latency were com not comparing latency in the same I I uh, graph for different protocols. They were comparing different graphs. And it was very interesting results. You see, uh, next, uh, because the graphs are very different, uh, the uh, di difference for uh, latency in IPv6 uh, and IPv4 will di greatly differ from one autonomous system to another. And uh, here we have, I got a, a challenge, a challenge to 
uh, make a measurement that will give me results about global changes in latency for different autonomous systems. And uh, it's a very difficult task, uh, maybe unsolvable. And uh, I think there are only opportunities to use RIPE Atlas and tons of credits. But I'm a laser guy. And I've decided that uh, I will not compare latency, but I will use some value that corresponds to lat latency. And so for such value, I've uh, choose connectivity. Connectivity is a mean uh, uh, length of ice paths, of course, ignoring prepend values. And as far as I'm concerned, it should uh, correspond uh, latency and could give a, uh, results with good uh, precision. So with this uh, function, I was able to compare graphs. And first of all, I've decided to find out uh, what uh, autonomous systems have increase of connectivity and increase of latency in IPv6 uh, compared to IPv4. And uh, here was no surprise. Uh, these autonomous systems have the biggest increase of connectivity value in IPv6 than IPv4. And all of them uh, have, a, uh, in IPv6, a subgraph of their connectivity in IPv4. So it was just as we were predicted when we are speak, were speaking about IPv6 as a younger brother of IPv4. Next, I decided to find out who benefit from using IPv6. And these brought very funny results. No matter what vendors were in IPv4, in IPv6, they all are using only Hurricane Electric. Uh, and uh, Hurricane Electric proved to be a very smart choice. In IPv6, uh, the connectivity value of Hurricane Electric is less than, uh, not less, uh, only uh, is better than, uh, than for IP transit providers, but also is better than any cloud service. And if you compare the number of direct uh, uh, customers uh, in IPv4 and IPv6, uh, in IPv4, Hurricane Electra, not in top five. It has no place even in top 10. But uh, in IPv6, it is the first one. But, uh, and it even exceeds uh, the autonomous systems that are believed to be tier one. But here we have a question. Who are tier one? Uh, you see, uh, some say that they know members of Taiwan Club. Uh, some say that they are members of Taiwan Club. And I'm pretty sure that I, they are among us. May I ask to raise representatives of Taiwan their hands? Do we have some of them here? One, only one? Okay, uh, and do we have representative of uh, Taiwan in IPv6? Mm. <laughs> Interesting, it's funny. Uh, and there is a problem, so. <laughs> All we know that um, uh, Stig is not a member of Taiwan Club. Uh, but how could we, we be sure? Because uh, here we meet a technical problem. A technical problem that we couldn't check if the person who gives us, uh, for example, raise his hands and tells us that he is a Taiwan, a real Taiwan. And uh, a technical problem is that uh, as soon as there is autonomous systems that gives customers opportunity to make their pref value less, we are not able to retrieve real relationships between these autonomous systems. But we can retrieve possible Taiwan. The possible, by possible Taiwan, I mean the uh, autonomous systems that uh, are in full mesh with the biggest one and have uh, no links that have the pref value equal to customer uh, pref value. So this is the possible Taiwan, I'm not speaking about Taiwan, uh, uh, set of uh, autonomous systems for IPv6, or IPv4, I'm sorry. And this is possible Taiwan uh, at least for IPv6. You see? It's very interesting. So two autonomous systems that even were uh, in a top five of, uh, uh, if we are sorting uh, vendors by the number of direct customers, are becoming customers of Hurricane Electric in IPv6. So this is the main reason. 
The main reason is why the concern is the value of traffic. The value of traffic uh, differs from one, one network uh, to another, but this is the graphs that I've retrieved from Detex. It is the, one of the biggest internet exchanges in the world. And uh, here we see that the traffic in IPv6 is uh, less than about 100 times less than in IPv4. And so that is why the de uh, deployment, the adoption of IPv6 was delayed in some network, and some networks find here an opportunity to change the global market. And I think it's very promising uh, news, because uh, if I'm speaking about Internet, Internet of Things, I would not like to see the Internet of Rules. I still want to see the Internet as the Internet of Cooperation and Competition. And the change, the opportunity to change the Taiwan club, the closed club, that uh, proved to be uh, unchanged for, I think, a decade, is very interesting. Uh, you uh, also must keep in mind when the, uh, you make any measurements and you're comparing latency uh, between IPv4 and IPv6, you must keep, keep in mind that you're comparing two different gra graphs. You are not comparing the way how packets uh, go uh, through one graph. And I think that the grow with growth of uh, value of IPv6 traffic, the difference will become less. Uh, but, of course, while it will, be, uh, will become less, uh, the graphs will interfere. They will uh, affect each other. And uh, who will be the origin and who will be the copy? This is the next question that we will see, and we will see the answer, I, th I think, uh, uh, during next decade. Thank you for listening. Good morning, Matt Pitank from Yahoo. You made a statement just towards the end there that as the traffic grows, you expect the latency numbers, the ch delta and latencies to change. Why do you think that an increase in traffic is going to change the latency results? Uh, you see, I think uh, it will not directly uh, uh, change the latency. It will change the, uh, uh, the difference between graphs. This is now about 50% will become less. As soon as the graphs will uh, become similar, the latency will become similar to. So increases in traffic will suddenly force people to change their connectivity models. I think uh, increase of traffic, uh, uh, you see the, the way how the traffic goes it is the reflection of economic relationships between autonomous systems. And uh, if the traffic in IPv6 will be comparable to, IP, uh, to IPv4, the economic relationships be, uh, will have zero difference uh, in IPv6 and IPv4. So it could simply mean that either Mike Lieber is about to become a very rich man, or the tier ones are suddenly going to wake up. It'll be very interesting to see which happens. Thank you. <laughs> Mike Joseph, Google Access. Um, I was wondering if you've gotten any feedback or comment from Hurricane Electric about this topic. <laughs> Not uh, very much feedbacks from Hurricane Electric, but there are a few ones. Of course, they are thankful. Any other questions? Okay, we're at uh, break time now. Um, sessions will resume at 4.30. Thank you. Thank you.